Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you how to install MesaGit on Arch Linux and this is in my opinion the easiest and fastest way to have MesaGit and all its dependencies installed on your system because you can also install uh, from GitHub by the way there is also a our package that you need to compile but the problem is that you need to compile Mesa and also its dependencies and uh, if you want also the 32-bit version, means Mesa 32-bit version and its dependencies. So that takes a long time, you know, to get compiled. Actually, there is a, another way to speed up this method. There is an external uh, uh, repository to install LLVM. So you get rid of some repositories to, to compile. But still, you, then you need to compile MesaGit. That takes a long time. So I found out this unofficial repository that contains everything that you need. So Vulkan, Mesa, uh, LLVM, Clang, and also the 32-bit version. And they also have the Nuvo, Intel, ATI, and AMD GPU drivers Git version. So in a few seconds or less than a minute, you have everything installed. You know, no compiling, nothing. So, we are archlinux.org here, we are going to the wiki, we are going to search for UNO, which is unofficial, unofficial user repositories. And now we want to scroll down, there it is the LLVM SBN repository that first I used, but as I say, there still was MesaGit to compile, you know. Then I found out in the unsigned repository, MesaGit, okay, which is maintained by Laurent Carlier, this guy here, okay. So thanks to this guy, really saves a lot of time, you know, for me. And actually, you have to add to your uh, pacman.conf this server. You can actually, before doing everything, you can go packagebuild.com, which is still part of Arch Linux, as you can see here. Then go El Carli, and you can just check what's in the in the repository, you know. 32-bit, 30, 64-bit, you can see here the packages and everything, you know, before installing, if you like it or not. Anyway, I'll show you how to add this, and as it is unsigned, you need also to to tell Pacman not to check for a key for this repository. So I'm going to open a terminal. I'm going to move the terminal here. I'm going to use nano. So sudo na uh, nano atc pacman.conf. Okay. There are some information here you can read. And here you have all your repositories, extra core, community, multilib. I also have uh, the testing repository. I use them. So you probably have commented like this, but I, I commented that so I can also use the testing repositories. As you can see here, as I say before, I was using LLVM to speed up a little bit the Mesa compiling, but then I just commented this out and now I'm using MesaGit Right now it's not active because it's commented out. I'm going to show you, nope, that if I run pacman cu and sudo maybe before, okay, there is just the testing and the default repositories, you know, multilib, extra core, community, etc. There is no mesa git here. So now I'm going to add it. I'm going to comment, uncomment, mesagit and server. I'm going to show you that you need this signature level to optional. If not, you get an error, okay? So I'm going to save this. I'm going to check. As you can see now, you have mesagit here. That's up to date. It's still have to install mesagit right now. I just uninstalled just for making this video. And actually installed Mesa because I needed Mesa to get OBS to to open actually. So right now 
it will complain about signatures. I'm, go I'm going to show you sudo pacman s. First of all, I'm going to actually show you what's inside the Mesa Git repository. So sl, then Mesa dash Git. As th that's the name, you know, the repository. This is all the packages included we saw before on packagebuild.com. And here you have also all the packages. Okay. And if you actually we check for MesaGit, oop. as you can see here, there is a very useful MesaGit group. Okay. So you, you don't need to actually type MesaGit, lib32, LLVM, OpenCL, etc. You can just type MesaGit. And you have all the uh, packages that are inside this group, MesaGit. So you can go ahead and install MesaGit from here, you know, and all these packages get installed. Okay, before that, I'm going to show you, as I say, the signature error. I'm going to install lib32 mesagit. I'm going to try to install, actually. sudo pacman dash capital S. Yes, remove mesa. Proceed with the installation. As you can see here, it's checking for the package integrity and checking keys in carrying. And it fails. So package missing requires signature. This is an unsigned repository. So you need that option that I'm going to uncomment. Okay, so signature level equal op optional. I'm saving now. And I'm going to install all the entire group, MesaGit group. Pacman, MesaGit. Okay, there are 20 packages as we saw before and there is also some Intel stuff that I don't need it's Vulkan, Intel and the library the 32-bit library so library 32 Vulkan, Intel, Git so I'm going to those are actually package number 9 package number 19 so I'm going to install package 1 till 8 then the 10th till 18th and the 20th package okay actually complains about Clang Analyzer, which is a little bit old. Actually, I'm not sure what what uh, the usage, usage of this package. Anyway, you can skip and it's okay. So, by the way, before, as I said, I installed Mesa, okay, from the, the standard Mesa, okay. So I have some conflicts now that I have to remove. Mesa git, libgl. So it's going to remove something old and going to install all the git libraries, uh, git packages, sorry. You can check here, so it's going to remove this, remove that, and then install everything else. Yes. And as you can see, if you compiled Mesa git before and also all its dependencies, LLVM, etc., you see the, the difference, okay, from installing from this repository or compiling it. I mean, it's now the installing process just began since a few seconds and that's it, finished. I mean, this, if you want to install, if you want to compile everything, it takes you one hour minimum, you know, with a normal uh, processor, by the way. Okay, that's it. Now I have MesaGit installed and all its dependencies. But let's say that you want to remove it, okay? So you want to switch, you want to try Mesa and Mesa Git. You can do it simply by... First, I'm going to show you what you don't need to do. It's Pacman remove Mesa Git, so the entire group. So if you do this, you have broken dependencies, okay? So like uh, Cairo, Alien Arena, or many other stuff, you know. Qt4. So to remove the packages uh, and leaving these broken dependencies, you need to pass two Ds here so that it skip the dependencies, just 
uh, remove the packages that you that you need to remove. So dash R D D. And right now you can just remove everything, as you can see here. So now I have Mesagit uninstalled. If I go Pacman and search for it, as you can see, it's in uninstalled. It's not in here. It should be installed here. And before I showed you how to um, how to install the package, but while unselecting the Intel Vulkan driver, you can also do like this. You can check for the the packages this way. Pacman S group capital S group and then Mesa Git. Okay, and it show you, shows you everything that's inside the, the Mesa Git group. But I don't need this Mesa Git here. So I'm going to put a Q here. So S G Q. And then you have all the packages listed uh, without anything else, you know. And this is, by the way, the same as running also SSQ. It's just the same. At this point, oop, at this point, if you echo this um, command, as you can see, there is no new line. There is also, there is, al there is um, also a space. And it's perfect because then I, I can install what I need. And if actually I do like this, I put a pipe, then grab dash V. So it grabs everything but uh, this that I'm going to tell, that I'm going to type it right now. Okay. So if I grab dash V Intel, now it's not going to list the, the Vulkan Intel. As you can see here, Vulkan Intel. Here there is no Vulkan Intel. Also the same for the 32-bit version. You know, same here, there is no Vulkan Intel. Those are 20 packages and these are just 18. So I can go ahead, wrap this one, put a dollar sign and sudo pacman install and then the output of this um, command, okay? There it is. So this way I don't need to to select the package one till eight or one till then ten till eighteen. You know, this is just maybe easier. And you can by the way modify to just remove what you need to install something. I mean this is shell, you know, bash shell, nothing crazy. I want to skip by the way clang analyzer as before. And then I'm going to install everything else. Again, just taking seconds to get Mesagit and the uh, dependencies installed. And if I check now Mesagit, Pacaman, no, maybe Pacaman would be better. Another. As you can see, it says that it is installed. There is also the other uh, uh, list. Yes, the other packages that I use. So AMD GPU, the Git version. I mean, it's there, so why not to use? Then you have like uh, the Linux AMD staging kernel, which is uh, a bit old, 4.9. But anyway, it's there. If you want to try it, why not? You don't need to compile. It's already compiled. Just install it. So if you have like Nuvo, you can also try out the Git driver right here, etc. All right, that's it. If you have problems that you can't uh, uh, start your desktop environment, etc., remove, as I show you, so sudo pacman are the, the, the entire group, Mesagit. It's very super easy with this group stuff. So you just install or uh, uninstall all the packages we just uh, I, 
a command. If you have problem, sudo pacman, remove everything, and then install the the standard Mesa, you know. It will maybe ask you. No, that's it. All right, so uninstall Mesa Git and install just Mesa and uh, the other reposit the other packages that you need. Okay, that's it. Hope it was helpful, and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.